Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Uh, this is going to be the very first episode of a brand new cricket TV show I'm starting with called Life Behind the Pitch. In this show, we're going to talk to cricketers from all around the world, talk about their cricket experience, what made them start, uh, tips for youngsters, and to end off, we're going to do a bit of a quiz and a bit of an e-cricket challenge, hence we actually can't go outside and play cricket at this point. Please let me welcome our very first guest. He is one of the leading left-arm pacers in the UAE. He is a ICC netballer and the recent ECB champion. Please let me welcome Mr. Aaron William Benjamin. Welcome, Aaron. Thank you so much for doing this, man. Um, so, how you been doing? How's the quarantine treating you? Thanks for having me, man. Um, not too bad, actually. Uh, apart from actually playing cricket, it's been not it's no, been okay. Man. I'm missing it so much. I can't wait to get back in the net. Same, man. Same. Okay. Um, so, just I'm gonna start off with asking basic questions like, how do you start your career in cricket? Uh. Over here, I started playing at ICC for, mm -hmm. I think, a year, and then I moved to Desert Cubs. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, like, basically play the ECB tournaments and then mm -hmm. get picked like that, and I went to camp. Mm -hmm. what, then, what sparked your interest in playing cricket from the start? Cricket? Uh, yeah. I think from a young age, it was always, mm -hmm. uh, you know, watching Malinga and watching Swami the Vaz. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Also, just watching like Sri Lanka play was a mm -hmm. pretty big thing when like all our families would get together. So that mm -hmm. kind of uh, made me want to play cricket. Mm -hmm. What's your biggest moment in the field? Mine, I think it would be uh, when we went to Sri Lanka on our Asia Cup tour in 2019. Mm -hmm. uh, I got to play at my home ground. Mm -hmm. That was a big deal. So I was on a hat trick. Unfortunately, wow. couldn't get the hat trick, uh, hat trick wicket. But uh, you know, that's something that I keep. Uh, mm -hmm. Do you want to go through your talk process like, and what you thought and how you set up the bat and stuff like that? Uh, so the, it wasn't too great for a start because it was a first match and it was a practice mm -hmm. match against a uh, club team. Mm -hmm. So uh, I think they were under twenty three. So when you went and played, that was a, a first practice match and. Um, I didn't really have a great start, but then I came back for my second spell, and I think it was my third ball and fourth ball of that first over that I had just uh, tried to bowl good line length. And the first one um, rose a bit because it was in Sri Lanka. We didn't really expect there would be a lot of grass, but there was, mm -hmm. and uh, it it came up. So both of those balls came up, and the third one I tried to get York in, but uh, he ended up flicking it down to my leg, so I couldn't get that. So you pride yourself in your fitness. I know personally, I've seen a lot of change in you the last couple of years. What, what's your, of course, we're in quarantine now, but when you're back at the gym, what's your normal routine like? Uh, it's mostly cardio-based. Um, other than that, it's body body weights. I don't really use uh, stuff in the gym. So like I'll go for push-ups more than like chest press. Mm -hmm. And uh, skipping also kind of, Mainly got me started in like weight loss. I think that was two years ago when I started skipping. Like you can really see the changes because I think it's 10 minutes of skipping is like a hundred and something calories you burn. Oh, wow. So that kind of is what set me off. Uh, other than that, just running is also really what I took to. Yeah, I mean, so, I, told, I remember actually, we were in that holding and you start talking about it more like slow running and like jogging on the spot like that. And that, I'm guessing that yeah. changed a lot for you. I did, it did. So like pacing yourself was really important because you don't want to burn out. Otherwise you lose interest in losing weight or like, mm -hmm. you know, whatever your goal is. So if you kind of work at a 70%, you can be more consistent. So that's what uh, mm -hmm. I was going for. Okay. So we both have gone to tons of net bowling. We've done practices, yeah. several different teams. Do you want to talk through your experiences with that and stuff like that? I think I started net bowling in 2017. Same with you, right? Yeah, same with me. Yeah, so 17. That was when we first started. I think it was PSL. It was PSL, yeah. And do you want to just talk through your experiences with that and how it improved the game? 
Um, net bowling was, I think, the start of where I like got uh, inspiration to like bowl faster. Because mm-hmm. when you talk to the coaches, and I mean, you know that also. When you talk yeah. to the coaches, they like give you input on what you can do better, mm-hmm. and then you feel really motivated after that. So that kind of was one of the things that I uh, liked about net bowling. And mm-hmm. I mean, you get the opportunity to like bowl at big players, mm-hmm. and like I think one point it was like Sangakara. Uh, Kevin Peterson, Chris Gale. Mm-hmm. This was like yeah. 2017, 18. That was yeah. pretty big. So, what do you do after the game? Like, how do you switch off? How do you relax? Not if you think about the game. All right. So, I used to have a big problem with that, but like, mm-hmm. uh, I think after my first UA tour, I kind of got that into my head that it's not as serious as I'm making it out to be. So, mm-hmm. after every game, I just kind of switch off by like. Because when you go back to the hotel, just like sleep, just try not to think about anything. If you think about the game, you'll end up messing up. So mm-hmm. I think there was a game against India. It was not a great game for everyone because it was, you know, playing India. Yeah. yeah. So I got two wickets in that match, but like I gave quite a bit of runs. So mm-hmm. we had another match the next day against uh, Nepal. So I tried to sleep on it and like not think about that match. Mm-hmm. And when we played the match against Nepal. I think it was first four overs I got two wickets for some mm-hmm. 18 runs. So like I came back strong from that. So I think it's just uh, it's a mental thing because I know many people get stressed, especially like bowlers, because you have six balls and if you start off pretty badly, it's kind of hard to come back from. Getting so good. I think uh, think about each ball at a time mm-hmm. and that's how you'll go forward, yeah. Mm-hmm. Give me tips for youngsters who want to be left-arm pacers or pacers in general. I think just enjoy your game while you... Mm-hmm while you have the chance to enjoy it. Because at a, at a time, like under 19 level, you might take it too seriously. Mm-hmm. And like, don't take it too seriously at uh, such a young age. Just enjoy having fun, you know, mm-hmm. trying to bowl fast. And what's your future career, career plan? Or are you planning on going so, to back home or staying here? For cricket? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I think I'll be spending the next one or two years here and then for mm-hmm. my postgrad, I'll go to Australia. So that's kind of what I'm looking forward to right now. So if mm-hmm. I can manage to improve my pace up until then, I'll be like 21 when I leave. So mm-hmm. yeah, then it'll be a good opportunity to go over there and see what I can do. Hopefully it works out for you, man. Thanks, man. So, we're basically going to do a short quiz. So before this thing, I asked Aaron about his two favorite cricketers, and he said Jimmy Anderson and Andre Russell. So I'm going to ask five questions about them, and then five questions about stats about your life, uh, which I've got from online and stuff like that. Right? I probably won't know any of them. Uh, Don't worry, you'll be okay. Okay, so the first simple and basic, how many wickets has Anderson got in his test career? Is it A, 500, B, 375, C, 812, or D, 584? I think it's in the 500. So either A or D? Uh, I think it's A. A, 500, exactly, or? Uh, wait, maybe D, maybe D. D, okay, you're absolutely right there. 584, D, yeah. yeah, okay. Now, which was his first wicket, like in first debut match? Is it Australia, India, Zimbabwe, or Sri Lanka? I'd love to say Australia. I don't know why, because they play most of the tests against them. So, mm-hmm. Unfortunately, it's Zimbabwe. Zimbabwe. First matches against Zimbabwe, yeah. And then, a bit of a hard one here. How many sixes do you think Russell has hit in his T20i career? Is it 42, 12, 56, or 24? Probably 56. Uh, 42. Close though. 42. Wow, that's 42. crazy. Yeah. And then Jimmy Anderson, what's his highest test score? Jimmy is Anderson's highest test score? Yeah. Is it 112, 56, 99, or 81? I think it's either, fif- it's either 50 or 80. So uh, I think I'll go with 80. What did you say? 80, 89? 81. 81, yeah, 81. Yeah, you're absolutely right there. Yeah. And then, as basically, I'm going to talk about your life now. So, I've pulled these stats from Quick HQ and from all around the place and whatever I could find. So, what do you think your bowling average was during your 28, 
2018 ECB season. 2018? Ah. Oh. Mm-hmm. I, I actually don't know. I think that was Wrong. my best season. I mm-hmm. can't. Take a guess. Can't. Average? Yeah. The bowling average. Uh, 14, 15? No, it's wrong. We're spot on. Yeah. 14.13, yeah. Spot on. Well done, man. And then, so this might be wrong with Tally, but how many wickets do you think you've got in your whole ECB career? Oh, uh, has to be more than 30, right? So you, you, so you played 30 odd matches. How many wickets do you think you've got? This is like I whole ECB, not just 2018. Your whole ECB season. The whole ECB I, season. I'd say, I don't know, like, think too high, so I don't know. Probably, it has to be more than like 30. Take a guess. Okay, it's more than 30, but it's less than 70. I'll give you that. Oh my gosh. 50, I'll say 50. Nah. You're close. You're 50? 52. 52. Wow. Well, yeah. well then. I don't think, I think you're one of the highest in the whole ECB. The From the three okay. years? Yeah. yeah. So you played for the Bots 115 national team, right? What yeah. do you think was your best bowling performance there? Oh, dude, that was 2000 and... A long time ago, yeah. 14, I think. Uh, yeah. I don't know. I actually can't guess, bro. I, I Take don't a guess. Know. Okay, it was, it was less than five wickets. I'll give you that. It was less than five? Oh, okay. It's more than one, but less than five. Somewhere in between. Uh, I'd say two, man. Two, four. Spot on. Two for two one. Four Take one. a guess. 20... No. Lower. A bit lower. Lower. Uh, bit 18. Lower. 15. Spot on, dude. 15. Oh. 15. Yeah, yeah. Okay, now we're basically going to do like a rapid fire round. I'm going to ask you like three okay. to four questions. Nothing about like your life, just uh, people you know and stuff like that. Okay, so I'm going to put 30 seconds on the clock here. And then I'm going to rapid fire ask you questions, yeah? Cool. Okay. So, who's your funniest teammate? Uh, Ashwant. What's your most iconic memory on the field? Uh, getting the Indian captain out. Mm-hmm. Uh, what's the young star, young piece that you want to watch for the future? Nasim Shah. Uh, what's your biggest competition in UAE? Bowling wise, I think uh, Akasha. Akasha. Who's your best roommate? Nilova. Bowling to Sri Lanka or playing the Under 19 World Cup? Bowling to Sri Lanka. ECB final winner or becoming the under 19 captain? ECB final winner, man. Okay, if you weren't playing cricket, what would you be doing? Probably baseball. Baseball. And then last one yeah. Would you rather bowl to Russell for an hour or get a one on one session from Anderson? Oh, one on one session with Anderson, man. Anderson, for sure. Yeah. Okay. So now we're going to do a bit of speed cricket because sadly we can't actually meet up and play in that. So we'll do a bit of speed cricket. So we're going to play speed cricket, do a two over slog and see who scores the highest. So I got a two in the first ball. I got three in the first ball. Damn, it's okay. They got another two. I got a four. I keep getting two, man. Oh, I've got two, man. I got, we got seven in the first three days. Mm. We got the outswing as well. Sorry? Yeah, yeah. We got the yeah. outswing, but I missed that as well. Yeah. I got, I got thirteen in my first three. I got seventeen in my first over. I got to catch up. We got three. I can't hit any two from this going around in the two. You think I'm cheating, yeah? Of course, man. I've seen what you do in this world. <laughs> I got my last ball. I'm on 26. Sent off his bowling bounces, yeah? Mm, yeah. So I finished off with 26. Okay, I finished off with 37. Uh, 
uh, thank you very much, Aaron, for being here. Thank you for being the first guest from the series of episodes. Um, check him out on Instagram. There'll be a link down below or somewhere on the screen here. Um, please like, share, subscribe, and that's it. Thank you very much. Thank you, Aaron, for being here. Thanks for having me, man.